Hello and welcome to Abusive Noobs Gaming's Impression of Firewatch. In a world full of AAA titles demanding the spotlight, games like Firewatch tend to get overlooked. Gameplay in the modern sense of the term may be scarce here, but there is a lot to like nonetheless. What game mechanics do exist work fluidly and feel realistic in nature. Whether swinging an axe or using a compass and map, you feel the immersive realism this game thrusts upon you from beginning to the end. The art direction is absolutely gorgeous. Cartoon-like in its appearance doesn't hinder the serene feeling of wonder you get just looking up toward the sunset in the distance. Watching a fire burn miles off in the darkness instills both a captivating scene of beauty and a primal fear. What if the wind changes directions? What if it engulfs my tower in my sleep? All of these dynamics are compounded by the most engaging narrative-driven game to come along at least in this console generation so far. The characters are not only interesting, but they feel like living, breathing people. By the end of the game, I couldn't help but be invested in them. Incredible voice acting breathes sarcastic and sometimes dramatic life into a world devoid of physical human interaction. The tones and inflections of both characters convey even more complicated emotions than annoyance, caring, and anger in a way that is believable. The story hinges on these vocal interactions and the actors do not disappoint. Although my entire playthrough was a total of 3 hours and 15 minutes, I feel satisfied. Episodic games like the new Hitman series offer significantly less in terms of satisfaction for the same price tag. By the time the credits rolled, all I wanted was more to play, but I do feel the story fits its length well and dragging it out would only diminish the game as a whole. Replaying the game doesn't offer a lot of value, but the same can be said for reading a novel a second time, or even rereading this review in its written form. There is a point where a game transcends just being a game and becomes something else, an art. For me, this became a hidden treasure among all the loud, obnoxious titles boasting hours and hours of gameplay and multitudes of levels, The Division. This game is a masterpiece in its own right, not for innovative gameplay or mechanics, but for a story that is so much more. It truly shows us that video games can be art. They can be emotionally compelling. I don't want to put down the controller so I can shoot more people in the face, but because I want to immerse myself in a way that is unequivocally unique to gaming. Thank you for watching Abuse of Noobs Gaming's review of Firewatch. Check us out on Twitter, YouTube, Twitch, and Tumblr. There will be much, much more to come, so take a look. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.